Hi, this is Mr Rhodes and today we're going to look at the song Seven Nation Army from the Trinity Rock and Pop Drums Grade 1 book. It's a really great piece, a really popular song, great to play to. There's a few things it's worth looking at before trying the piece just to make sure we know um, everything that fits within the song. So on the first line we have a four bar rest. So we count to four for one bar, count to four for the second bar, then the third bar and lastly the fourth bar. And then we come in with the floor to and the bass drum. Now this is just a crotchet rhythm, uh, which is the T rhythm. So just keep a nice steady beat for the pulse of the music. This should follow on with the cowbell click sound in the track. Sounds something like this. Remember when you're playing this line to keep track of where you are so you know how many beats you've played and where you are on the line. And also make sure, even though the rhythm's slow and easy, that we don't accidentally accelerate and speed up. So really maintain that strong and steady pulse. The next line is a really interesting line. The, uh, the third line is we add the snare on that second beat. Be careful to put the snare on the first beat. So it's the floor, tom and bass on beat one, and we add the snare on beat two. And again, keep a nice, strong, steady speed and keep track of where you are. The fourth line down, uh, we have a couple of new skills going on. So before you attempt this line, it's really useful to practice uh, the main theme and technique required in this line. And what we have, we have the bass drum on the beat, keeping a crotchet pulse, with your hands in unison, which means together, playing quavers or coffees over the top. So the bass drum's keeping the beat, and the hands are doing quavers. Things to watch out for is that the bass drum doesn't go really fast or that you don't miss some snares. So your bass drum's keeping the beat and your hands are playing quaver, quaver together whilst playing the bass. I would do this for as long as you can, for 20 seconds, 30 seconds or even a minute just to get comfortable with the coordination that's required. So put the bass on the beat with the hands and the hands play quavers. that comfortably then in the piece we'd have three beats that happens to be on the second beat when it begins so I would count two three four because uh, we start on the second beat for three beats before we do that we do a crash with the bass drum and then the three beats so it should sound like this so you might do that a few times and obviously feel free to pause the video and try that so I'll do it again on the line we should do it two times in a row crash Two and three and four and crash. Two and three and four and crash. It's really important we can do that. We do that on this line. We also do the same on the bottom line at the end too. The other challenge we have with this is we have something called a crescendo, starting from quiet P, standing meaning piano, meaning soft, getting to loud. So when you do this line, try and start soft with really low sticks, low down. And as you get through the line, lifting that stick height, height and hitting a bit harder. So it should sound like this. So if you get that crescendo, it will really help add to the feeling of the song. The next line down, we're on line five now, the instrumental refrain, and that means no singing, is we're on the crash. Now we don't need to hit the crash too hard, because the crash is already a loud part of the instrument. We want to use the shaft of the stick on the edge, and we're doing one crotchet crash with the bass and one crotchet crash with the snare. And when playing this to music, just make sure that you can still hear the song and you're following the pulse, because sometimes the crash, the crash can dominate and sometimes we lose track. So make sure we can still hear the song whilst doing that part of the song. And on this line, on the third bar, we have three beats and then a half beat rest. And for my students, we know that half beat rest is where we miss the cop and then we still hit the feed afterwards. So I'm missing half the beat, but hitting the other half the beat. So on the third bar across, we have three crashes. One, two, three. So it should sound a bit like this. And I'll do that again when it's your turn. So feel free to pause the video and give that a turn. 
Once you can do that, just make sure you start the following bar straight after. Because once we can do the individual bar, it's important we work on those transitions through the music. So if I do that bar one more time and then move on, it should sound like this. So work on those areas, making sure we keep a solid and steady pulse with the beginning of the music. Working on those hands in unison with the bass drum on the beat. Working getting louder through that line too. And then also maintaining a strong crash part in the instrumental and adding that little half rest. If you work in those areas, then hopefully when you try it to music, it should all flow and work really well. And you can always download the track from the book or you can maybe search YouTube Trinity Rock and Pop Grade 1 7-inch Army. Good luck. <laughs>